of my friends, it's James here with Dream Escapes. I want to show you a project we've just completed in a little bit more detail than I've shown in my other videos. I'm in Studio City right now. It's a beautiful neighborhood. Uh, George Clooney's property is right across the street there. So the first thing we did for this property is we put in this asphalt berm here. This is hot patch asphalt. We put it in when it was hot. And the whole purpose of this is that the water comes across the street in almost like a, a stream or a river and it's been jumping this curve for decades and going onto my client's property uh, to the point where the city spent a couple hundred thousand dollars and built a, a large collection drain on my client's property. We're trying to keep the water off of our property. So that's what this beautiful asphalt berm is for. Uh, we carried it all the way through around the corner here just to create a uniform look for the whole front as people drive by. Now come on in here into the jungle. I'm gonna take you into the, the front yard of this landscape, but we actually uh, brought it into total beauty from being looking like a jungle. So this is a shade, 100% shade landscape. And so we have really shade tolerant plants that just love this filtered light that we have here. We upgraded all the irrigation. And so now you can see that it's nice and moist and all the plants are budding out new growth already. Uh, when we came to this project, everything was just very dry here and all the plants were dwindling. So, as you can see, we got a lot of beautiful colors and textures in this, in this beautiful, enchanting shade garden. And this is only a few weeks old and the plants are already growing up quite big. And uh, within a few more weeks, we're going to have a lot more of these plants going into flower. So, this is our front shade garden, complete with irrigation, a little bit of bark chips and just some simple shade plants. So, mission accomplished for the front uh, shadier part of the yard. Now over here, where is uh, the, the public come by and walk and jog, we wanted to create a little bit more security for this front fence here. So we ended up putting all bougainvillea in here for the whole fence. This bougainvillea is gonna fill this all the way in here and grow higher and be um, and form a barrier that's literally impossible to climb over without getting cut up by the sharp needles in the bougainvillea. We also put in drip system here and just packed it with lots of fun plants. So it's looked really charming. We're coming in the backyard. So some plants were already here, but we ripped out almost everything. We left this crepe myrtle tree, but in here we have shade plants. And then right you, when you get to about here, it becomes a full sun garden rather quickly. So we, we are calling this a, like a French chateau style planting and garden. Uh, um, it's a little bit distinctly different than you could say like an English garden. So that's why you see a lot of these Mediterranean perennial type plants here. They love the sun. The hotter it gets, the more they flower. And they're very low maintenance too. You just trim them once or at the very most twice a year. Uh, Everything in this whole area has been switched over to a drip irrigation system that we installed. So it's super water efficient. And also I'm gonna talk about the bark chips now. These bark chips are 100% fir, pine, and redwood. They're the best you can get. And what they do is they actually prevent weeds from coming up. They have tannins in them, so it kills weed seeds. But they also look great too. They give a complete finished look to a, a project. And the third thing that bark chips do is they keep moisture in the ground. Really effective, especially when you're doing drip work, drip lines, because we're not losing any water to mist or vapor or, and very little to evaporation. Now, the third phase of this project, we put in all this hardscape. We did a custom concrete pathway. We got our cute little fountain here, so gorgeous. And then we did uh, a very challenging amount of work doing cuts on these interlocking paver pathways and patios to create the curving effect because we love curves in our pathways and our, our projects. So we blasted all the borders here with new plants and uh, we're irrigating everything in the front area where it's sunny with drip system. Um, as you come up into the patio here, we've created this gorgeous arbor, just love it. And uh, we painted it, we primed it, and this is just gonna last. 50, 60 years. It's just really high quality construction. We blast the back here of this area with plants that will really give privacy from the neighbor here. So we call this the jungle. And in, back in there, we went over to sprayer irrigation instead of drip. So it's just a lot more efficient for an area that's so shady back in there just to have sprayers watering it. So that's basically the 
the gist of this project. We have another retaining wall and a pathway that goes to the back hill in the property where we're gonna do some further work in the future. In the front here, we've just kind of uh, created a, a very uniform look. Uh, the purple plant here is called Tradescantia, and it's very incredible plant, full sun plant. It just loves it. And then the silver plant behind it, I use in combination with the purple Tradescantia. It's called Calendrinia. Uh, it's a California native and just uh, looks stunning when it's in relationship to these purples and these greens that we've installed here. So we have a few more phases to go on this project, but I just thought I'd share a lot of the information on the, the planting, the irrigation, and the softscape of this project, as well as the hardscape being the pathways and the arbor. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.